five, yes, sir. The five million that uh, they're just raising now. Yes. Is that going to take you to a point where the uh, it's all dressed up for sale mm -hmm. or just part way so somebody yes, will see it? That's the the reason we're raising that money is to um, is to bring this message to the world. Uh, one of the things about what Jeff has been doing, and he's been working at this so long, is that he's flown below everybody's radar except for some of the key sponsors in the, in the defense community. So nobody in the mainstream tech business has really been exposed to this. They've been exposed to things like it in the past, um, but nobody's heard of this. And what I've found is that once you get past their initial skepticism, because almost everybody I've talked to, if they've invested in this industry, has lost at least some money on this kind of stuff in the past. <laughs> uh, Silicon Photonics was one of the most recent destroyers of investment capital that was pursuing this value proposition. Uh, in this case, uh, in this case, I think, you know, once they understand that he actually does have the answer, then this technology is ready to, to bring so to the world. we got a prototype now, we got a little wafer that works somewhere, a bunch of them? Or uh, we've been building devices, uh, well, <laughs> since uh, 2004. Um, we've been building devices in third-party fabs, uh, essentially to make sure that the recipe is transferable uh, since 2010. Uh, 2011, I guess the first ones were completed, yeah. and that's been going on continuously since, and will continue on through calendar year 2013. Um, there's a bunch of milestones listed on the presentation on the website, and the one up here. Um, these are what these basically are: is the culmination of Jeff's quarter century of work, where you know the the, the parts that he's designed and built and optimized. He's building them in a form that I can go and take them and show to folks at Intel, at Samsung, at Philips, wherever, and say, you don't have to believe what I tell you. I'm going to leave this with you, take it in the lab, do whatever you want with it, and call me back. I know you'll call me back because you'll be impressed. <laughs> so these are, we're spending the year basically making our physical proof points in our own fab, as well as at, uh, at the British Aerospace Fab, uh, to go out and, and, and show the world what this stuff can do and how it works. We're just about out of the time. We've got 15 minutes or less. Yeah, real quick. Yeah. Um, so, so Lee spoke to the science part of it, and it gives you at least a, a bit of a jest as to uh, how important this technology is and what it can do. Yes? Stand beside the... Uh, oh. Is that better? <laughs> okay. Yeah, sorry about that. And here are your milestones. So how do we, uh, as... as shareholders or potential shareholders or investors, why do I invest in this company and what's management going to do to make me money? That's what you got to be thinking as an investor because if I was sitting in your shoes, that's exactly what I would be doing. Okay, this is all great and dandy, but you know, how do I cash out of this thing or where do I make money? So the fact that this story number one is untold is a great thing for you guys seeing this room because that's more upside. The fact that we are not raising any more money is another great story because there's no more dilution after this. We've said that, we put it in print, and we believe that. Uh, thirdly, how are we going to get the story out? We were in San Francisco. We are hiring a PR firm in San Francisco that is um, strictly uh, tell stories and uh, is strictly to do with uh, Silicon Valley types of investors and companies, deals only with them. They're fantastic. They're going to position us as to Intel is this big, this is or one of the founders is this big, no. why are they shaking with Poet being right beside them? That's going to be the message you're going to deliver, and they are doing something that I think is fantastic. they got tremendous institutional following. They're going to put us in front of institutions and funds in the United States, which we have never had. So we'll be able to finally tell the story to the funds. We've had the time to do it. We've jetsoned out of solar. We have the people to tell the story properly in front of them. And that's why I think that this, this raise and the warrant you're getting is great risk reward value for you guys. Because we're not going to raise any more money. If they, if they like this story, they're going to have to go into the market. And we'll, we will not be dependent on one or two key guys, one or two funds in Canada one of ours to, to, do, to do our work for us. So as a company, we're driven, number one, to get the story out. Number two, to increase the share price, because when we sell this company, right now as a team, we think that there is, a, there is a big gap between what the real value of the company is and what the value is in the stock. 
So we want to close that gap so that when we sell the company, we sell it for an appropriate amount of money. We've had board discussions and management discussions about this, and we're targeting that as well. Is a billion dollar sale then? Uh, yeah, we, we think that this company could sell for, for a billion dollars for sure. Uh, we, it could be somewhere in the billion dollar, it could be a little less, it could be a little more. It depends how well we tell the story, it depends how many companies become involved. Um, Poet technology, the way uh, Lee uh, described it, there's not a single company in the world that's big enough to use all of Poet for what it does. Not Intel, not anybody else. So I could easily, we could easily envision someone like an Intel buying it for specific parts and then calling in some of their friendly partners for other parts and syndicating it. Um, we would try to put that together ourselves as well. We're producing a white paper now. We've targeted about 50 companies we're going to engage. We've already started the monetization process by engaging and speaking to companies. Lee has done that on his own, and we've got great feedback already from him. Like he said, at first there's disbelief that we're really doing this, and when they really know that we're in the you know ninth inning or eight and a half inning of a nine inning game, then they can't believe it. In, in San Francisco and in the Valley, they were absolutely shocked of what we have and the fact that nobody knows about it. So on a risk-reward basis as investors, that tells me there's a lot of upside. I'm not worried about dilution. I know the story's going to get told. I know management's focused. We have a good burn rate. It's a great story. As an investor, it's a great story. Nobody in the company has sold any stock since Mark and I arrived. There hasn't been a sale. In the past, this company was the type of company that you get an announcement and then you wait for management to sell about three days later. That culture is gone. Same day. Okay. Same day, no, not same day, they'd be in jail. So, they probably get a little bit, but that goes and, and the fact is, is that, you know, uh, the chairman has brought that kind of culture. He comes from, you know, a New York stock type of uh, company, Cot Beverages. He believes it. We're not selling stock. We're in for the long run as, uh, as management and as directors. Uh, Lee Shepard was a missing piece that we didn't have before. He just didn't and really speak to the science. And uh, and Mark and I can do the business part of it. Terms, Pardon me. Layman's terms. In layman's terms, absolutely. And you know, Jeff is uh, Jeff Taylor is by far he is the most important piece of this puzzle. This guy has dedicated his life to it. What you must know as well is that there's another 12 guys around him that are either you know electrical engineers or mathematical PhDs or whatever that believe they absolutely believe in this science. They're dedicated to see it to the end, and it's not just for making money, it's all about changing the world. And that team is what we're going to be selling to a potential syndicate of companies or a, a one, one, one company. And it's important that that team has that vision because it makes the sale that much easier. Okay? Um, I think we'll call on the chairman here for some closing comments. He's laughing, but he's coming up. Not much you can ask. Yeah. <laughs> So I was thanking Vern. Uh, my first introduction, I've never done one of these. My first introduction was uh, four or five obscenities from Vern. And why didn't we uh, any material for you? A good point. The material is available. It's all there. You got it in uh, your hand, right? <laughs> There's only one copy. You try to take it from me. I'm not, uh, look, I'm not going to uh, repeat everything that's been said today except for a couple of things. Number one, we want to thank, I can see some of our shareholders here who were at our annual meeting this year. You should ask them questions because they were there and they saw what we've been doing and what Jeff Taylor's been doing. Number two, when Peter and I uh, took on this mission, we, we did it with executive titles. And the reason is we were actively involved every day. Um, I'd love to tell you that I'm enjoying every day, but I'm not. This has uh, become more work than I thought, but I think the rewards are going to be there. Because quite frankly, I was in retirement mode. Um, I've always lived by deeds, not words. You heard me say that at the annual meeting. We did that with the solar division. We refocused the company. A large credit has to go to Peter. The next step for us are very simple. We have a time frame that says we want to sell this company in the next 12 months with the close in the first quarter of 2014. We have three parallel strategies, very important. We're going to continue the science. 
We're going to invest against the science. The reason is the balance of these milestones will add value to our sale process. But the reality is that the largest milestone has already been reached. The second strategy is we must get exposure to this company, the technology, to a wider audience than Toronto, Montreal. And let's call it what it is, we're going to spend most of our time and energy in the United States. The third strategy on this key, key path is monetization. Pete gave out a number, you asked a number. The number is going to be based on the following. The revenue in this industry blew me away when I looked at it. It was $430 billion. The amount of R&D that they spent in uh, 2011 with just, what, 10 companies? Top six. 28 Top billion. Six companies. Top six companies. $26 billion. $26 billion. Uh, we, we had some numbers. We had some numbers that were thrown out that potentially says that to Intel, this type of technology in a very small sliver of the marketplace, and I want to use it for my old background. So we were looking at the water business for energy drinks. We're at the stage where you don't want to be investing in the water, you want to be investing in energy drinks. So to Intel, this energy drink market, the technology, net present value is $10 billion. I don't think it's unreasonable to expect that our target should be north of $2.50 a share and how much work can it go, and it's all going to be execution. So I want to thank you, Vern. I want to thank our shareholders. Potentially, we have new shareholders today. Uh, we're very committed to this. So again, thank you very, very much. I'm going to hand it back to Michael. Uh, yeah, so I, obviously, uh, great presentation. Thank you very much, Peter. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Lee. Um, they're, they're around for uh, the next short while if you want to ask them more questions. Uh, we are in the middle of the financing, as I mentioned. Uh, please approach me if you're interested in the financing. It's, it's going quite well. Um, it's a, a raise of $5.5 million, and that's what this company needs to execute its plan. Um, we've been with this company for a long time. Uh, we've done a tremendous amount of due diligence on the on the technology and on the, the, uh, the people that are going to uh, execute, and we're, we're very, very pleased uh, with, uh, with the way things are going and look forward to a bright future for Opal Technologies. Thank you. How much of that did you guys follow? Huh? How much of that did you guys follow? No, eight and a half percent. Yeah. That's the problem. It's very complicated. Yeah. Very, very complicated. It's about but speeding up the 